So I just wanted to do a quick video on pen spinning. This is uh, pretty much an essential life skill that not enough people have figured out. Uh, it's not something you have to master, but I feel like it's something everyone should know how to do. Uh, and it's not very hard. I learned late in, late in life, so I'm not very good, but if you're watching this video, I'm probably better than you. So let's give it a shot. Uh, first off, find a pen with an even weight distribution. Uh, this is the pen I learned on. It's got a nice taper to it. Uh, that helps, but it doesn't make any big difference. Uh, basically, you don't want something too heavy. Anything with a metal body is not gonna work. Anything weirdly shaped is not gonna work. But uh, just find a normal pen. You have one in your home or office that will work. So you're gonna pick up the pen in your dominant hand, whatever hand you write with, and hold it like this. Two fingers, thumb. Two fingers are stabilizing on one side, thumb on the other. The spinning is happening around the thumb. The thumb and the middle finger are applying the pressure. The middle finger eventually is gonna win out and spin the pen around the thumb counterclockwise. Your forefinger is gonna sort of give up and just let everything happen. So again, here is in slow motion. Thumb is the central axis. So it's gonna go like this. Again, I'm not very good at it, but you could see there's a definite spinning action. Maybe this pen isn't ideal. I'll switch it up, see what else I have. The pen is ending up in the same direction it started, but usually its position in your hand will change. So again, around the thumb, and you're gonna be usually holding it down further. Yeah, so you will mess up, especially when you're looking at a camera instead of looking at your hand. But yeah, again, I need to look at the pen. So you're gonna find a different pen. When you're learning using something with some weight at the end, could be helpful. I would generally say don't start relying on crutches because it'll make it harder to learn later on, but using something with some weight at the end could be helpful. I would start with the lightest pen you can find. So like a Bic crystal will be helpful. You can see this pen with the weight at the end, it whips around my fingers a little bit better. It's definitely easier to use than the other ones I have. So finding the right pen will help. And again, your middle finger is the one doing the work. It is flicking the pen around your thumb. Forefinger is just there for guidance. There's a pen, this one is probably a little bit too heavy on that end. So if that happens, you could move your fingers up. You don't have to held it on the end here to deal with the weight distribution, hold it more towards the middle. Let's see if I can change angle and not send the pen flying. I'll try some slow motion at the end. I think I have harnessed that technology. And again, you can do it with dumb looking pens and weird pens, but just, yeah, maybe not. It gets a lot harder. The nice thing is you'll be able to pick up anything one day, like a Sharpie, which is all over the place. And it won't be perfect, but you will be able to just flip it around and again, I'm not good at this. Other people on YouTube, I'm sure, have mastered this. But again, I think my lack of expertise makes me a helpful teacher. 
plus you could see the most rudimentary of motions on my hand whereas with someone that's good at it uh, you may not be able to follow it so one last time this is applying the pressure your forefinger is stopping the action until you're ready your thumb is the central point and it's also countering the finger the pressure of your middle finger the motion is pushing your thumb through and your middle finger around. This is the grip from one side, the grip from the other side, and just wrap it around your thumb. So yeah, hope that helps a little bit. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any tips. Thanks for watching.